I am who I'm meant to be. I am who I'm meant to be. Over and now, over and now, again. My future needed clarity. Okay, I'm pressing the record button again. It had stopped recording because it was the maximum time, which I didn't know, but that's cool. Anyway, so I was saying how like, I didn't know with the army and just the different branches that inside the different branches, they'd have like, you could be a cook or you have, you're a driver or whatnot. I didn't know that. Like, I just thought like, you do like the army, national guard or navy or what whatnot type of things. And that was your job. Uh, so it's very, cool that they have like little branches in a branch or if that makes any sense. I'm gonna go in with this lovely Charlotte Tilbury airbrush finish powder and, and shaped hand. Um, put that all over my face. Um, I think I'm gonna use the back of the butt, <laughs> the butt of the beauty blender. I love that it picks up a lot of foundation. Really cool. Okay so back to everything. Okay so I left the place, um, I left my, the lovely recruiting office, it was nice, I was there for a, a actual, a really long time, probably just because the test took a long time or whatever, but, um, yeah, it was really cool, and I went home, and I was told that they would get back to me or whatnot in a bit, and we would, um, start the actual going to, um, the city to go to the actual, like, place where you take the actual, like, test, test to get into the Army National Guard or, uh, whichever branch you're going into, and I was like, okay, um, I'm gonna, like, go study, <laughs> and I studied a lot, actually, I studied too much, sometimes I do that, um, and it's the, f the fact is, I psyched myself out a bit, and also, I studied things that weren't on the test at all, like a lot of that and uh so when the test when i actually had to take the test or whatever it was very um what's the word it was a lot <laughs> that's for sure because all the things i studied for basically were not on the test and so when you go into a test blind do you really do amazing i didn't do amazing and another fact is that um with the test it was they were really like the place that you go to is really secure obviously i understand that you know, when you take the test or whatever there's a, a sit down at the computer and you have to answer questions you have a you have a timer you have a you know time to answer questions but if you don't click anything on the screen or whatnot it goes to a red screen and you have to raise your hand and somebody has to come and put in the passcode or whatever for you to get back on the actual screen and that is incredibly annoying <laughs> because for me you know trying to do that math in my head or the math on paper or like just use my brain um i wasn't clicking the screen multiple times and so i had to raise my hand multiple times and be like I, um, you know, not say anything, but, you know, just come here, because, you know, obviously other people taking tests have to be quiet, you know, so, um, yeah, it was just a lot all around, I was stressed, I was annoyed because of this thing, and also the, the person who kept coming, there were a few, but the, one of the main per people who kept coming was really mean, like, he was like annoyed like you could tell he was frustrated with me and i was like it's not my fault you know that the screen keeps turning red right and that was just not the funnest experience to say the least i took the test my grade was not amazing um but i passed it which i'm thankful for you know you f you don't feel amazing when you don't get a great grade on this on a test or at least i don't because you know i felt like you know i could do i could have done better and all that type of stuff i finished it got my score back and now you have to start looking for like what are you going to do in the army national guard and since my score was not the greatest i had to get like one of the like lowest things that you can do or something like that and that was that on that after i took the test then you start 
I mean, and you pass, then you start getting into the process of, um, getting all your medical records, seeing a doctor, um, peeing in a cup, I had to pee in a cup. <laughs> it was very, um, you know, stressful because we're on other guys in one bathroom like that, um, which they probably do that for a reason. I understand because you could cheat your, you know, pee or whatever, hello, but the people, I'm in mean, National Guard and I think in the government in general sometimes, they can be a bit harsh and I know that's probably because you know they want as my friend likes to say soldiers as I like to say soldiers it seems that they want like soldiers to no emotion and you know harms people or whatnot now going into the city we're gonna stay at a hotel for a night or whatever and I I was and they had said that you get your own like hotel you know, your own little hotel room and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, that's cool. You know, that's, that's nice. At least, you know, that's what my friend said and stuff like that. And I was like, wow, because they had gotten that. And, um, and, you know, it was obviously, like, COVID and stuff like that. And we're in, like, the second year. I was like, oh, okay. You know, I thought it would be more, you know, possible. But when I got there, they had changed the rules. And they had said that two people were going to be sharing a room. <laughs> and I get nervous. I was like, oh, my gosh. I'm sharing a room with somebody. I don't know how I feel about that. You know, I'm an introverted person. Uh, before I start talking to you, and then I become like, oh my god. But I was nervous, of course. And so, you know, being nervous and stuff like that. Um, and I didn't talk to anybody. Um, I, when they started like calling people like to come up or whatever, not come up, we had to stand in the line and we started walking up to this counter lady and she gave us a key and asked us our what um, branch we were joining and whatnot, blah, blah, blah. Um, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna go to the counter and there's, nobody's gonna be with me. And nobody was with me. <laughs> and so I uh, got my key and I was like, okay, well, at least I'll be the first one in you know the hotel room. Like, oh my goodness, you know, right? And I could like start thinking of ways to you know, introduce myself when the other person comes in or whatever. Not the case, the other person was already there. <laughs> And they had been there for a bit, it looks like, or whatever. And um, I was like, oh. I was like, hello, nice to meet you. I was like, I probably was like scaring the the, kid, um, the guy off or whatever. I wasn't because um, he was really cool, actually. And he was really kind and nice. And um, yeah, he was cutie. Um, but I just... I knew, like, when I was talking and expressing, you know, like, I'm very bubbly, whatever. But when I was expressing and talking, blah, 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 I was, like, in my brain, I was, like, oh, my gosh. I'm probably, like, just, like, creeping this guy out. Like, oh, my goodness. He's looking at me like an insane, probably. Like, oh, stop talking or something, right? <laughs> That's what happens to me a lot when I, I'm, like, I just keep going on. Like, I'm going on right now. Um, I hope you like it, though. I don't, I don't know. Um... <laughs> Well, anyway, so, but he was really cool, uh, and one thing I have to say, and I love, or it, fa it fascinates me at least, about the, the different branches and all that stuff, is that everybody who joined the Army National Guard or Navy or whatnot, uh, it seemed as though we're all on different paths of life, and that was very cool to me uh when i was in the car with this um my recruiter and a few other um people there was this w woman who was talking about like you know like we were introducing herself you know uh and she was just saying how like you know she is like a mother and then there's this other one who's like she was like a bartender and it was really cool and i'm over here like and they, you know they're older than me or whatnot or a few years older than me or even some people younger or whatever but I was like, wow, I'm 21, and, um, I'm in my bedroom, and, you know, watching YouTube videos, <laughs> and I have a job at Forever 21, or, actually, yeah, at Forever 21, doing my thing, um, it's, uh, not Forever 21, sorry, not Forever 21, premium retail, um, and, 
like that's me right now like oh my gosh I'm, I'm not a bartender i'm not that i'm not as cool as you guys basically in my hand or whatever i was like wow they've lived um they have their families like kids or whatever and i'm just like whoa so i just think that's really cool and so the guy he was uh he had a wife and it was just interesting and they were facetiming and i thought it was so beautiful like and he was about to be um go to boot camp and i was about to go to my sc uh, screening for medic um you know the medical stuff so i just thought it was really cool and that he got to talk to his wife who was already had done boot camp and was already going the next step and it was fascinating to me um to say the least what eyeshadow am i what color i think i'm gonna do something simple simple guys like uh we will get into the colorful looks in time i love color it is my favorite thing i am a colorful person so yeah but okay like i was saying basically because i'm literally off track all the time so yeah he was really cool uh his wife was really cool i was just like oh my goodness wow and um yeah the hotel room was actually it's really nice and and that was awesome we got food went downstairs to eat it was nice and then uh sleep time and so i fell asleep early because i was sleepy i was just like i was exhausted all of this is it was so much that it was just a lot and so i was like okay i'm going to sleep and i went to sleep but i made sure i set my alarm really early in the morning because even though we had to wake up early in the morning for breakfast and whatnot i woke up a few uh, I, mean, I believe an hour or something hour 30 minutes early just to get up take a shower have some me time before all this craziness starts starts more i should say so yeah i did just that it was really nice it was a vibe i took a few photos if you want to check them out they're on instagram i had shaved my head at the time so enjoy that <laughs> and so yeah that was cool and then uh, i was getting a bit like like nervous that we would get left by the bus or whatever because the um the, like downstairs they had called or whatever like they were calling they kept calling and i was like oh my goodness like and this is when um the guy uh next to me woke up and he you know he went to take a shower or whatever but like they kept calling like the people downstairs kept calling and i didn't answer no we didn't we both didn't answer because it was like well hopefully like they'll forget us or whatever <laughs> i was like um not today and uh not, well no actually sorry i did answer but it was one of those like automated like things like no one said anything it was just like it was a wake-up call basically right and i thought like oh my gosh they ate already the, the, the bus is gonna leave us here and how am i gonna get to the place and i can't believe this is happening like oh my gosh and that was me in my brain but i wasn't gonna leave him because you know that's kind of i don't know messed up like i mean we talked and stuff like that like he was cool and i was cool and it was i wasn't just gonna leave him there right not not, not that I, I i i specifically said like you know how it's like every man for himself type of thing you know that i was like no we you know we work as a team or whatever right anyway um yeah so i wasn't just gonna leave him there right and i didn't and we finally got out uh the room like we were rushing at that point we we're like oh my gosh we started ru uh, rushing downstairs we pressed that elevator button and let me tell you that i don't know what was happening downstairs but that elevator was not coming up either it wasn't coming up or it was coming up way too slow but it doesn't make any sense because we used the elevator to come upstairs the day before to go into the room and go down to get uh dinner so i don't know what was happening but we were just standing there like okay hello like come on elevator you got this uh, the elevator didn't have this and so we went down we had to find the stairs okay this hallway was like i believe it was like a circle powder um i believe it was like a circle hotel or something i don't know but at least that's how it seemed with the uh the surrounding like the areas or whatever but we were trying to find a staircase okay we were looking through multiple doors to find that staircase we finally found the staircase. I was like, oh my gosh, okay, let's get down. That staircase was creepy. It was dark. It was not fun. I 
felt like it was in a horror movie. I don't like scary things. This is me when I watch scary things and I don't watch scary things, but if, you know, me, right? When it, this was me when I was watching it or whatever. But anyway, yeah, it was interesting. It was really, it was, it was interesting, but it was really exciting because it was like, oh my gosh, I'm obviously, I'm nervous, I'm scared, but like, it's cool doing this with somebody. It's also cool just, I don't know. It's just the excitement of, this is how my day starts and i love that about that uh, i don't want to use this palette <laughs> it's an amazing palette by the way maybe patootie lurley los angeles i love her she's amazing lurley um obviously you probably know her go check her out go watch her channel i love her so much but uh and then i have her second one oop hit the camera <laughs> uh nudie two number two really cute love them both i think i'm gonna go with Ooh, the main event, 24 palette by Morsi. Um, don't need another color. I don't want to do anything. I've never used this dark blue before, so I think I'm going to do that. Um, the shade is called, I can show you guys. It's that blue shade right there. It's called Act 2. I've never used it before, so we're going to try it out. Please be good, please be good. I want to make sure, okay. Hopefully, hopefully, I, I mean, like Tati says in her videos, you know, use diff you can use different brushes. They do every brush, you know, it's not specifically for that thing, you know, have fun with it, you know? If you like this brush with this, do it with this, and stuff like that. Anyway, so yeah, we were running down the stairs at this point. Finally got down, finally opened those doors. People were like, they were all gathered gathered it was a lot of people and it seemed to me that breakfast was done i was fine i was just happy we weren't left behind yeah they would have like threw our application away okay or at least mine because uh he was going to boot camp you know little jen's over here was just like um hi i'm uh, okay i get it i'm going home you know type of stitch there was this lady she gave us each different color card for a, a specific line or branch and, or I believe it was for the buses, like what bus we were gonna get on, but yeah, I believe it was, it might've been that or the branch, I don't remember. Finally made it to uh, on the bus and I sat in the front, which by the way, I don't usually, um, I will zoom you guys in. Um, you can see my voice. <laughs> I don't usually uh, sit in the front. I sat in the front of a bus, which I've done before in middle school, and I, I believe sometimes I did in high school. And it was cool. It was cool uh, because I sat next to this really nice girl. She was really kind, and she just talked to me. We were talking, and I was like, oh my gosh, so, you know, what's happening with you or whatever when it comes to, like, branch she's in type of thing like I'm because we're obviously going to the same place and stuff like that well she was also starting boot camp and I was like man because she would have been somebody she would have been somebody great to talk to you and have you know as a person uh at the the mat no she wasn't she had to go to boot camp and I was not going to boot camp and so I would have been I would be alone <laughs> I'm gonna move my mirror up so I can see my face yeah, she was. She told me about like um, just what she was gonna do, and and the, um, I believe yeah, I believe she was doing the Army National Guard like me, but in the Army National Guard, and she had a boyfriend, and they were happy, and I thought I was like, oh, that's so beautiful, and whatnot, and she was very artsy like me, and I thought that was I thought that was really cool, just to find somebody not so hard and proud of her for just being herself and not because that's really all you can be and it was just really nice to know that I had somebody on the bus to talk to and I was thankful for that and so got to the place uh finally <laughs> and it was very uh I've been there before that one time I took the test but this was different because I wasn't going to take a test I was going to start the actual like process of you know the, the eyes the ears the ping in the cup type of situation and with that i was i think i was the most actually i 
I wasn't the most nervous for peeing in a cup, or maybe I was, until I had to go pee in a cup or whatnot. The, you know, the hearing test, you press a button and you hear a sound, you know, the eye test. I mean, I am legally blind, so that was a bit scary, but I can see, which is great. Thank the heavens, at least with glasses. I'm not wearing my glasses right now, but that's okay. Get one of these brushes. Just to nice and everything out a bit. Everything's a bit like cray cray. Okay, actually, it's kind of looking kind of nice. I'm actually really here for it, right? You know, I'm just proud that I'm getting better at blending makeup and. Whatnot. I just I'm also proud that this is such a great art form to have and I've always been a fan of well I'm an artist and I feel like God sprinkled that into me first it started with seeing fashion and whatnot on the streets and watching Project Runway and then being afraid of you know my family and whatnot the church and stuff so I was like okay put that thing behind me I thought it was more of a feminine thing and people have their stereotypical whatever like oh my gosh uh, which and so then I added uh drawing into the mix after being afraid of the fashion thing and what it would mean and to people and stuff like that which or at least not you know my family and the church and stuff like that because <sighs> being a kid and all that but anyway um yeah so I put my artistry in something else and that was drawing and I love drawing so much. It makes me happy. It's all of the things, I think art in general is very therapeutic for me. And so I did the drawing and then I added in reading and then I added in writing and that's me in a nutshell. Just, I love all of those type of things and just anything in art is the best feeling. I got this lovely shade. And this is the only shade I've put in um, on my eyes so far. I made sure that the color was most saturated on the lid and then in the lovely crease going up to the brow, I wanted to diffuse the color a lot more just because I kind of like the way that looks. Um, also, I like, I do my eyes, or at least I like to do my eyeshadow, like more rounded, like a nice little round instead of like, a cat eye at least for I've been doing it for a few looks uh, I don't know I just like the way it looked I kind of like the round motion I don't know it's just fun it's just fun <laughs> okay back to my story <laughs> so basically I saw a few people then I had to go to this um, I believe they took my did they take my blood oh I think that no it took my arm pressure like you know you put the you wrap the thing around the arm you know squeeze the thing a few times or whatever when you go to like the doctor's office you know that um they did that and then the first test that I had to take uh was the hearing test which is the thing where you press the button okay I did the hearing test um I psyched myself out because number one I was wearing a denim jacket which I probably shouldn't have worn in that place in the little box and I did that, and then the button, like, obviously you press the button when you hear it. When it goes so quiet, it's like, oh my gosh, do I hear it? Do I not hear it? And so I, I was just like, okay, to make sure, let me press it. And so that's what I did. And I didn't do a great job on that. <laughs> um, really bad. After that, we next went to get our eyes checked, see if that were good and whatnot. And then we went to go pee in a cup. And this, for me, was the most difficult. Uh, because I pee alone, like, you know, like in the bathroom. Um, and so having to pee with other people next to me because the stalls, like we just went to this bathroom and they had obviously stalls and whatnot and you only could use the stalls until you're next to somebody, you're peeing and there's somebody rushing you. It was definitely a lot. And I was very, I was disappointed in myself because I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna do so good. Like, I'm gonna pee in this cup. We're gonna, we got this, right? And I had, um, I drank drunk a lot of water before this, I had to pee in a cup, just to make sure. So I had to pee, like I had to pee and I knew I had to pee, but my bladder was just like not having it. This guy over there was like not having it with me. He was like, 
if you don't pee in this cup in this amount of time, then you're done. Your application is done. You know, you'll have to, you'll be back here in like whatever, two months, five months, to whatever. And I was just like, oh my goodness, what is wrong with this, you know, this person? And I was like, wow, people, they really do this. I don't, it's just, I don't know. I know it's probably like mental, you know, psyching you out type of thing, but it's just the fact that I, I just wasn't a fan and I just don't, I didn't like the way they do it. I'm not a fan of the way they do it, at least to that extent. And yeah, he was just not vibing. And so I couldn't pee in the cup. And so since I couldn't pee in the cup, they were like, okay, well, you'll try another day, basically. And so I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> After that situation, and I was already just sad and wanted, I, 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 like I was tearing up and stuff like that. I had to go see a doctor, see a doctor individually. And it was very interesting. How's my eye looking? Is it looking okay? <laughs> so yeah, did the doctor thing. That was a lot, but at least I I, I did a good job with that. And I was, I was proud of myself because it, it definitely helped with the peeing in the cup. I had to, after the doctor thing, I'll go back to try to pee in the cup and I tried and I couldn't do it. And that's just the emotion. I was kind of done. I was just like, I can't believe I did everything else, but the reason I won't be getting into the Army National Guard is because I can't pee in a cup. Like, it was, I was it was in a happy time at least that uh, day. And so we had to try another day. It was a few days later, I had come back and the only thing I had to do was pee in a cup, basically. And I think get my doctor's information or whatever. And so the same thing happened, basically. I couldn't pee in a cup, this, you know, I, I, it was a lot and, you know, he was screaming at me and he was even more agitated because I'm back here a second time trying to pee in a cup, but it doesn't help that you're screaming at me. But the fact is they probably scream at you when you get into boot camp. So what can I do about that? Right? I was literally to the point where I was like, you know what? I'm going to grab my file. I'm going to put my file, slam it, not slam it, but put my file down on that um, desk. I'm going to walk out of this place. You can't just walk out of a place that has like a metal detector, all that type of stuff, right? But I'm like done, and I'm just gonna be, I'm, I'm done because I'm so done with people treating me like this. Like, what is wrong with you? You're an adult. That was me, <laughs> in, in my brain. And then I was like, you know what? And the guy was done. He was, he was, he was done with me. Sir so was like, you know what? You're not gonna do this again, and I'm done. And he, he took my file. He took my file, and he, he went out that bathroom and he left me there. And I went to the sink and I was, you know, cleaning my hands and I started crying. <laughs> I was like starting to tear up. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, oh, you know. And it was this guy at the window or whatever, you know, the doctor or whatever his name is. Um, I believe he was like a. Anyway, he, he collected the pee samples and stuff like that. But anyway. Was just really and he was mean too he was like um like did you drink water and like it was just how he said it and and he didn't have any care for m me right or whatever which i don't know if he had to but he could have been nicer about it right anyway he was just not vibing those two guys were not vibing with me at all and i feel like at least the doctor was more tough love that guy over there or whatever his name is he is Oh my gosh, I was like, what is wrong with Sir? Did he, he, he like, it seems like all these people will wake up on the wrong side of the bed, or at least most of them. And yeah, so I got out, I went out the bathroom and I just, I sat down and then I got back up and I was like, you know what? No, this is not gonna be my last chance. And I went to go talk to that doctor and he was like, go drink some water, don't talk to me again. And I was like, I was like, okay. Um, and so I just, got some water and then I um you know I was up against the wall and I was just like wow yeah I'm done I don't know what to do but I don't know out of out of out of out of, out of nowhere like a unicorn or something there was this other guy who I had seen a few days ago and he was another he's a, he's a great guy because he was with um I guess one of his students or something like that in training and he was just showing her around but he was like he stopped and he was like I, like what's happening or he's like everything going you know i was like i couldn't pee in a cup again like oh my god and he was like um you know he was like come on and so went in the bathroom i let me tell you <laughs> i finally actually i'm setting it up in the bathroom with the other guy who's much more nicer and understanding and 
Um, he understood. He was like, yeah, that guy, you know, that did that or whatever. But anyway, I was like, oh man, I can't. I, I'm trying to pee, but I can't and whatnot. But, 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 I started singing. I started humming. I started singing a bit, like really low. And I was singing Diamonds by Ariana. I mean, not Ariana. I was about to say Ariana Grande. Oof, love you. But I was singing Diamonds by Rihanna. And um, when I sung that song, Diamonds by Ariana, I mean, not Ariana. <laughs> when, I, when I sung that song, Diamonds by Rihanna, let me just tell you, I started peeing. And I kept singing. And it kept going. And I was like, oh my goodness yes 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 thank you thank you thank you i finally peed in a cup and the only thing i had to do was sing ah oh, i was so happy and you could tell the, the guy you know he was happy too he was like oh my god yes we're done we're good da, da, da. i was just so like proud of myself i was like oh my goodness thank you rihanna love you and it's crazy because I, I was singing that song from the time i woke up in the car i was listening to it on spotify all the way there just i literally kept pl playing diamond and listen to it on repeat or whatever. It helped me pee. And so, I'm so thankful to Rihanna for that. <laughs> and I peed. So that was in July. Fast forward to yesterday, actually. I had texted my recruiter once again. How's everything going? Cause I, haven't, I hadn't heard from him since July when everything went down, July 30th to be exact. And I was like, oh my gosh, they forgot about me. Like. I want to join and whatnot, but everything is happening and you know, all that type of stuff. Anyway, he got back to me yesterday. That is me and my story. And that's where we're at right now for joining the Army National Guard. I'm doing really good. I'm going to finish this makeup and I'll be right back. I hope you guys enjoyed the story. I know it was very long. <laughs> I'm going to have to edit a lot, but yeah, I'm excited. And I think I might do some pink. Or some gold. It really depends on how I feel. Hello guys. I'm going to uh yeah. There we go. Okay, so wearing my lovely jacket just to get the vibe going. Just finished the makeup and yeah, that's my process. Um I am still in the process of joining the Army National Guard. Hopefully it works out for me. It would be amazing. And I hope you all like the makeup. I am going to go take some photos now, have some fun, and I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Like, it means a lot. Help the al help my <laughs> it helps the algorithm when you like the video. So that would be awesome if you could. And if you want to, you can subscribe. I hope you like the channel. Um, it's fun creating videos. I love it. And um, yeah, so I would just grab a sparkle and I would see you. Round and round we go, losing self control. I keep telling myself, but I don't want to let you know. Is this what we become? Strangers on the run. Looking for something, chasing the sun All those days, trying to find a place A place that you'll make them just be alone